Hi everyone, welcome to Get Python Code. Today I will solve the joy of computing using Python weekly quiz assignment. For the first of first question, list are used to store multiple values. This is correct statement as you can see this screenshot from Geeks of Geeks. And for second option, one can access element in list by using non-numeric indices. This is false. We have to use numeric indices for accessing the list elements. You can see here, list are indexed and you can access them by referring to the index number means numeric indices. So second option is false. Iterating over list is possible in Python. Yes, it is possible. And we can do it through many ways using for loop, while loop, or list comprehension. You see, you can see here all the ways. And fourth option, we need to specify the required size of list while creating a new list variable. So we don't need to specify any size. As you can see in see here, I have created one list having elements like get Python code, and I have not specified any size of the list. So for question number one, mark option A and C as the answer. Coming to the second question in the below code. So this is the code. For what value of n does the program will print 21? So I have copied all this code in towards my right side in Google Colab. And if you see, uh, if we keep the value of n as 21, we will get output as 21. So right answer 21 for question number two. Now before going to the next question, uh, if I make any change in answer, I will inform you in my Telegram channel. And I will also inform in my YouTube co channel community tab or in this video description. So make sure to change my answer if I do any changes in my answer. Going to the question number three. From the previous question, what for what value of n is the number 7 appended to the list A? So here uh, we will try to put all these values given in the option we will check whether 7 is appended or not and I have modified this code a bit to take input the value of n so first option I will try 7 here if I press enter and enter 7 you can see 6 is appended 7 is not appended here now I will try with second option that is 6 so if I press enter for 6 you will see only up to 5 is appended, 7 is not appended. Now I will try it for 8. You can see 7 is appended here for 8, for n equal to 8. Now I will try for 9. You can see 7 is also appended for n equal to 9. So check 8 and 9, check 8 and 9 for question number 3. Now going to the fourth question. As you can see, uh, this code, I have copied this code towards my right. So this code will change the uh, elements of this list result. So it will, uh, so it will append twice of, of that uh, indexed element, which is divisible by two. And it will append plus three for non even indices. So you can see. Uh, indices means it, it, it will start from 0, 0, 1. So this is indices 0 and this is 1, then this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4, and this is 5. So if I run this code and if I also run here, then you will see 10 has been converted to 20. So at this is present at 0 position so 10 converted to 20 this is first position so 20 converted to 23 now this is third position means odd, uh, odd position so it will be converted to 60 and for 40 it has been converted to 43 and for 50 means uh, index position 0 1 2 3 4 for fourth index position it has been doubled and plus 3 for this one so what it is trying to do, it is trying to convert input list to a new list such that the even in 
such that at even indices the value is a multiple of even number as you can see this is a multiple of even number this is also a multiple of even number and this is also a multiple of even number and the and the value is either odd or even at the odd indices so this these are my odd in indices first position so 20 is converted to 23 and this is third po third position 40 is converted to 43 even if i change it to 41 you can see this will be converted to 44 so value is either even or odd so coming to question number 5 so it convert input list to a new list which is filled with some alternative whether this is incorrect or correct so first of all this is incorrect so as so it is trying to make a new list filled with some alternate even and odd numbers it is not like this it is trying correct statement should be if you're trying to fill with some alternate even and odd indices it is working on the indices it is not working on a number you can see here this i is the index value of the result list this is not the element of the list for question number six if file.txt exists so i can so i have added this file.txt txt you first let me show you the current directory so so i am currently present in content directory if i open this directory from here and you can see it is also present here and if i go inside here you can see we have file.txt and now if i try to run this command then it will throw error can see unsupported operation not readable the reason is simple because as we have opened this file in the right mode and we are trying to read it means we are trying to read a file which is already opened in the right mode so this will not work if you want to read a file then you will have to open that file in read mode only for reading open that file in read mode so that is why we are getting this error unsupported operand so we will get error and we will select no for question number six going to question number four which of the following is example of social media social computing so the correct answer is all of these three stack overflow wikipedia and quora wikipedia is also a social computing platform as you can see i have opened a sapml wikipedia page you can see you can create your account or you can do login you can create or create your account or you can log in or you can also contribute any article or you can uh, edit any article you can upload any file so that is why i am taking it as social computing example so for question number seven mark option abc as the answer coming to the question number eight so this is the code and what does the code print for n equal to three so let me mark n equal to three so n is question mark and this question mark will be replaced by three and if i run here then we will see we will get output as we know the wisdom of series so mark option mark we know the wisdom of series for question number eight going to the question number nine so for question nine the correct answer is not dependent on variable n and not dependent on a dot sort so why i said this so if you execute this code so first of all it is not dependent on value of n i even if i make the value of n as zero we will always get the output as we know the wisdom of series you can see and these two lines are the so it is not dependent on a and let me also print the value of a oh it is not printing the value of a let me check again 
so it, it is not printing the value of we'll leave it so we know the wisdom of series now if i give the value of n as 152 and if i run it then i will get yes so you can see it is always printing this output message whatever will be the value of n if i mark the value of n as 19 then also we will get same output so it is not dependent on the value of n and it is also not dependent on value of a because this is the a and and it, here it is trying to do the sum of elements of a so if i do sum of 1 plus 9 or if i do 1 or if i do 9 plus 1 so i will always always get result as 10 1 plus 9 is same as 9 plus 1 so sorting a does not make any difference so that is why a dot sort is not uh, this code is not dependent on a dot sort so mark option a and b for question number 9 and what is the value of this k so, so you can notice this k is nothing but sum of the digits so if my value of n is 1 plus 9 so it is giving 1 plus 9 equal to 10 if i give the value of n as 1 plus 2 plus 3 then the value of k will be 6 you can see the value of k is 6 so first it has added 3 then 3 plus 2 which is 5 then 5 plus 1 which is 6 so k is just a sum of digits so if we want the value of k then we just need to find the sum of these digits and that will be the value of k so you just copy this part and try to do the sum just paste here and just give plus in between to in order to do the sum of digits that's all you will get all output as 56 and i have not taken this part because if we uh, if this is 10 to the power 2309 which will uh, give result uh, which will just add zeros to this result and for zeros we will add plus zero so i uh, give answer as 56 for question number 10 so i hope you like this video Please like, like, comment and subscribe.